And this is my review of Huawei GR5 2017. Huawei had a previous phone in GR5 model, but this is GR5 2017. So a few things have been changed, and I will talk about those. First impression: the phone looks really good, and the material that used in back, which is metal, looks really gorgeous and feels very premium in hand. And at the front, you have a 2.5D curved glass, so this will help you to. Or feel better while you're, when you are swiping fingers from the edge of the display. Overall fit and finish and the design of this phone is really good and spoiler alert this is a highly recommended phone so without wasting any more time let's dive into the review. So starting with the design it's a pretty premium and rich looking phone but since it has a 5.5 inch display the footprint of this phone overall is a little bit bigger and for my small size hands, it feels a little bit bigger than usual. At the back, you have curved corners at the edge and which helps you to grip the phone better. And this phone has a metallic finish at the back, which feels cold in the winter. And another pros of this um, material choice is its fingerprint resistance. So no fingerprint like Samsung Galaxy S6 or, or S7 or Sony flagship lineup, which has a glass back at the back you have dual lens setup here which is 2 and 12 megapixel we will go to the camera later and below the camera sensor you have your fingerprint sensor which is very very fast and it's very responsive as soon as you just touch the display it unlocks the phone immediately and i will talk about the fingerprint sensor later so at the top you have your 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a secondary microphone at the bottom you have your USB port and two speaker grills though only the right speaker grill has a speaker underneath the grill the left speaker grill is just a design purpose and the speaker grill is um, nice looking but if you tap on the speaker grill or block your speaker grill by your finger the sound won't right, come out. from everyone's parents word for the state time you visited my website this week, which was quite often, it was from an IP in Virginia. You know run an IP trip? <sighs> I'm pretty sure that the State Department has no offices in Virginia. <sighs> huh? At the left side you have your SIM tray and at the right side you have your volume rocker and the power button. The volume rocker and the power button is very clicky and very tactile feeling. So. Every time you press the button, you will feel an initial clicking feeling, which is very satisfactory. Overall, I really like the design language of the new Huawei uh, GR5 2017. And the build quality is also top notch. Um, the fission finish is nice. There is no wiggle and there is no cranking noise anywhere. So the build quality is really, really good. And it's 8.2 mm thin and it weight is 162 gram so now let's talk about the display it has a 5.5 inch 1080p ips display with 401 pixel per inch which is nice it gets really bright at sunlight and in the dimmer condition the display gets really dim so the nighttime reading with this phone will be really nice as it from the technical specs the display is really good the colors are rich and saturated the black level is really deep black and the white level is very good so far so watching movies with this phone and, and playing games will be nice because the display is really really good but what about the speaker quality I will say the speaker is average because the sound is um, mediumly loud not so loud and the sound quality is not so rich I mean the clarity and the highs and lows are adequate but I think the display could get a little bit better but the one flaw is when you are touching the 
speaker with your finger the sound gets totally dumped which is a bummer you didn't want to see me on crutches i was not so agile and then this new job hit so oh, yeah. what was it you were doing again i'm doing analysis for the state department it came from everyone's parents worked for the state every time you don't be shy uh, come on you got this Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to sign? I actually just signed. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Too much independent spirit for you? Uh, no, I just don't really like bashing my country. My country, too. And right now it has blood on its hands. <sighs> Sorry, I, just, I have friends who are over there right now. Now let's talk about the raw power of this phone or the hardware. It has high silicon carrying 655 octa core CPU, 3 gigs of RAM, and Mali T830 MP2 GPU. And it's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow underneath the Emotion UI 4.1. The raw power is good, but how it handles in day to day use? From my experience, it glides everywhere. I mean, opening and closing app. It's just fluid. Even when you are browsing in your Chrome with a lot of tab opens, it doesn't hiccup at all. So no matter where you are inside your phone, whatever you are doing, everything just glide through. And it's just a really fun to use phone. Apps like YouTube and other things loads very fast and I have no complaint about this phone at all. So the software experience of this phone is really good. Though I don't like the um, no app drawer design so this phone does not have any app drawer all your app is at the home, home screen uh, left side right side of the home screen so the gamers out there are waiting for gaming test of this phone and how this Huawei GR5 2017 handles the high intense graphical games Now let's talk about the camera. So it has dual lens setup or dual camera setup at the back. The primary sensor is 12 megapixel and the secondary sensor is 2 megapixel. The sensor size of the rear camera is 1 by 2.9 inch and the um, pixel size is 1.25 micron. And the dual camera system is for capturing the uh, depth of the picture so that you can refocus after you take the shot. And it shoots 1080p video at 30 frames per second and this camera can also shoot slow-mo and in front you have 8 megapixel camera at first the camera layer is pretty straightforward and easy to use you tap the shutter to take a picture this is the video mode and this is the front-facing camera 
here you have some filters so that you can take pictures with a filter like nostalgia and um, dawn a lot of cool filters here is your what is this oh this is your iris control or aperture control which which will help you to capture the depth of the of the photos so here is a um, um, plant so i'm going to take a picture and if you drag this lever to small the aperture like now it's f16 which is the smallest in this phone and it goes up to f uh, 0.9 which is the highest so if you can see if you <coughs> take a picture with this f 0.9 or let's say f1 the background is very blurry but if you take a picture with f16 the background will be less blurry as you can see can you see the difference now this doesn't happen actually within the lens it has two lens or two cameras to capture the whole scenarios and it will trick to give you the depth of field effect like if you focused here it will blur out the background the best part is you can refocus any photos after the fact so if you uh, take this photo and then so now if you tap here if you tap here it will focus back in the monitor or the desk which is a really nice feature it gives you like a bokeh or background blur effect it's not like a real dslr or the fast dslr prime lenses and you have a lot of modes like pro photo modes which gives you manual control over your camera pro video modes hdr for high dynamic range shot so going into the pro photo mode you have your white balance next you have your autofocus and manual focus mode so that you can do some good focus pulling thing which is really nice then you have your iso starting from 100 and it goes up to 1600 next you have your shutter speed 1 per thousand of a second to 8 second now taking a look at these photos the photos are adequately sharp and the highlight and shadow balance is quite good i mean you can see the sky is not blown out and the shadow areas are quite good too i will say the colors are in a little bit saturated side but that's okay selfies are also very good and with the night shot you can take these pictures and as you can tell the pictures looks really really good with lot of detail and good lighting this is a light trail shot using the light painting mode overall a pretty solid camera considering its price point Uh, this is the front facing computer camera quality. This is my new cap. Beanie. Beanie. And the audio you are listening is coming straight out of the GR5 And this is the rear camera. If you want to know the uh, fingerprint sensor, it's really really fast. As soon as you just touch the sensor, this phone will unlock your device just like that. And the fingerprint sensor also doubles as a notification drop down or, not or notification puller. Also, you can swipe your finger from bottom to top on the fingerprint sensor and the notification will go up. So, these are some nice features of the fingerprint sensor. Uh, if the manufacturers implement their fingerprint sensor at the back and personally from me um, the fingerprint sensor should be at the back because when you're taking your phones from your pockets usually you just take the phones and you can just um, put your finger 
onto the fingerprint sensor and the phone can be unlocked immediately and the fingerprint sensor also doubles as a shutter button so you can take photos selfies or other photos using the fingerprint sensor which is a nice thing and registering the fingerprint sensor is also very fast you just need couple of seconds to register your finger and you can put multiple finger input to use multiple fingers and finally it has 3340 mAh battery and since it has a 5.5 inch 1080p display the battery backup is really really good in average daily usage i'm getting 40 or 45 percent battery left at the end of the day and in heavy usage i'm getting about 20 to 25 percent at the end of it definitely it will depend on your um, usage but in typical usage i can say this phone can last two days easily and this time huawei did a great power management job and also the marshmallow is also good in that but um, I think the power management system in this phone is really good. Right now it has 92% battery left and it's saying it will give me a 25 hours and 48 minutes without any power saver on, no power saver saving mode or the ultra power saving mode is on. So with power saving mode it will give me 27 hours and ultra power saving mode it will give me um, 38 hours. This phone giving me a really good battery backup and I'm really satisfied with the battery backup of this Huawei GR5 2017. Now the conclusion time. As the MKBHD or the Marcus Brown said. Hey what is up guys. Cheap phones are getting good and good phones are getting cheap. Think about it. This is one of the good example of that saying. Am I recommending this phone? Definitely yes. I am really loving this phone. I tried to note some flaws of this phone when I am um, testing this phone for review but sadly there is no many. I mean there is no app drawer but I can definitely fix that with some custom launcher like uh, Google Now Launcher or um, Nova Launcher. So that's not a major problem plus the um, uh, Huawei skin is not that bad maybe you will like the skin without any launcher another little flaw you can note is the speaker the speaker is not very high quality very rich but it's an average speaker another thing I want to include at the last maybe you are wondering if this phone gets hot when I, when I was gaming um, a little bit getting a little bit warm but not hot so the thermal management of this phone is also very good it's not getting too much hot it's 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 fine to get a little bit warm very good display very good camera very good battery very good hardware inside very good build quality very attractive design so thanks a lot for watching guys this was my review of Huawei GR5 2017. Put your comment what you think about this phone and if you like this video definitely uh, make sure to hit the uh, thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed in my channel definitely do so because if you don't subscribe you won't get any notification from me when I upload a new video and subscribing is a good thing you know when you are subscribing you are showing some love in my channel and that's that's definitely the appreciating thing also feel free to share this video maybe your friends could help with that anyway guys stay tuned is awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one